Welcome back to Local Memphis Live. You know, earlier in the show, Carrie Roberts showed us their Hall of Science area at the Children's Museum of Memphis. And she joins us live again now to show us a science experiment on how to make it rain in a jar. Carrie, I'm very interested in this because I have children. They're going to need a science fair project this year. So <laughs> walk us through the steps. How do you make it rain in a jar? <laughs> Okay, all right, well first of all, I'm gonna introduce you to my two friends here. I have Amira and Gabriel. They are here at our Creative Kids Fall Camp. Uh, we have fall break camp going on, so they're gonna help me out with this little uh, science lesson. So, in talking to kids about rain, you're obviously gonna start talking about how there's water on the earth. We have lakes and rivers and oceans. So all of that water is heated up by the sun, and when it's heated by the sun, it evaporates into the air. Now, Gabriel was telling me earlier, he knows this science lesson, that when it evaporates into the air, clouds form. So we're going to form some clouds with some shaving cream that we have here. And this is the, um, the foaming shaving cream, not the gel kind. You want to use the foaming. So I'm going to create some clouds on the top of my water. And Gabriel, you want to do the same thing on yours? He's going to create some clouds too. Now, as the water continues to evaporate, it all comes together inside the clouds. So what we're going to take, take yes, can you put some water in our clouds now? And can you do the same? And as the water continues to collect in the clouds, the clouds start to cool a little bit. The water cools the clouds off. And when that happens, the clouds can't hold the water anymore. As we learned last week, when things get cold, they shrink up a little bit. And as you can see, and Amira's here, it's raining now. And here also, Gabriel's is doing the same thing. Amira had a, a big storm in hers, and Gabriel's is just kind of a, a little bit of a trickle there. But so here we have, we've created a rain cloud in a jar. Pretty neat science experiment, I love it. And Carrie, you mentioned that the kids there are involved in the fall break camp that you guys got going on out there. What are some of the other activities that they get to participate in and will be learning? Okay, well this year's fall break camp is called Creative Kids Art Camp. And so the kids are gonna be doing art projects here. So I have seen things, um, I believe they made some owls the other day, they made um, trees, there's clay that they can work with, painting. Now our fall break camp is different than our summer camps because everyone has a different fall break. So the kids can actually just come one or two days if the parents need. And this is going on all this week and next week as well. So um, if parents want to sign their kids up, we do still have space. They can contact the museum. Um, they can call 458-2678 and speak to our receptionist, and she will help sign them up for it. All right, very educational for kids. Carrie, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Look like they're having a good time. Having a good little time. girl was. It's good. To, she was having a blast. <laughs> it's good to have that sort of thing, you know, because the kids do get a little restless if you don't have plans for fall break. So yeah. that it's a great resource. I agree. Well, coming up, Ben Wolf, George Sykes, and Chad Chilcutt are standing by in our GI Specialist Green Room. They are here to invite you to Stampede USA. It's a family fair and music festival. So stick around.